it has officially happened. Deadpool and Wolverine has not only done the impossible by passing that billion dollars in less than 20 days, it also took down the Joker. At 1.078 billion, Joker sat as the number one highest R-rated film of all time, with Oppenheimer in second at the time at 976 million, and right underneath that was Deadpool 2 and Deadpool 1. Well, Deadpool and Wolverine has officially cemented itself as number one as it's officially passed Joker, and we still don't know where it's going to end up, but it's pretty safe to say that it's going to hold this for quite a while, I would assume. Unless Joker 2 comes out and completely destroys it, which could happen, it looks like this is probably going to hold that first place. Now, of course, what exactly does this mean? Well, um, one, we are going to hear some let's adjust for inflation, but even with adjustments for inflation, if you just quickly do that yourself, which you can... Um, Deadpool and Wolverine is still going to beat it regardless. So the inflation thing doesn't really matter. Uh, I think the important thing we should take away from this is not Marvel versus DC or Deadpool versus Joker. What we should, listen to what I'm telling you, what we should take this as is a sign that R-rated comic book properties can deliver if given the respect the right time if they find the right audience and if the messaging is right just looking at the top the six seven r-rated films of all time look at the things you got in there you know what let's just expand that to like the top 10 let's just do that right you got logan in there you got it the first it it chapter one i just recently rewatched both absolute masterpieces you got the matrix reloaded again that was an r-rated film people forget that you know like there is genre films that conquer the R-rated thing, not horror films as some people would think, right? This is telling you exactly what you need to know about R-rated films. They can work in the confines of the right property and the right fan base, which clearly comic books and nerd genres are carrying this. So to me, Deadpool and Wolverine, more so than, hey, it beat the Joker, let's pit Marvel versus DC, and sure, that's fun to do because... People get all riled up. Let's talk about it in the context of um, maybe, just maybe, this is showing us that R-rated can be as viable in the box office as anything else. Because it is. <laughs>